This video is going to look at how to reduce the size of a video that you've ripped in Handbrake without affecting its quality. And I'm using Handbrake for the Mac and it's version 0.9.9. .9. But the techniques that I'm going to describe in this video will also work with the Windows version of Handbrake. The uh, one difference being that the user interface looks slightly different. So I have a file loaded laws of attraction which I ripped from the original DVD and it's a very big file size I'll show you the original size so laws of attraction and its size is 1.21 gigabyte so that was using the universal preset which has given a perfectly good rip of that that uh, video but it's made a very big file and now I really want to, to make that smaller. Using the settings that I'm about to show you, you can halve the file size without affecting the quality. To start, you need to select your video. So going to source and then locate your video. So mine's on the desktop in this folder. And so I've just loaded that one in. Select open and then your file is here. The next thing to look at is the destination so it gives you a destination an output file if you like and uh, it's going to my desktop and you can change that wherever you want it to go and I've just renamed the file so instead of laws of attraction I've just put a resize on there so we can see the difference in the file size the format will remain as an mp4 file so you don't need to change that that's the container select web optimize so any video that you want to upload to YouTube, for example, or Vimeo or any other website, you need to optimize it for the web. And we're not going to use one of the presets. We're going to change some of these settings. So the video quality will remain at constant quality, but we're going to change it to about 21. Select use the advanced options panel. I'm going to advanced and change reference frames to four into audio and change the bit rate to 128 and it's not going to give you any significant change in uh, audio and remember the settings that we're doing here is to reduce the size uh, nothing to select in subtitles or chapters these are settings you'd use when you're actually ripping Go back to video, I'm going to change the frame rate to constant frame rate and same as source. There's also picture settings where you can change the size of the video. So if you have a HD video in uh, 920, 1920 by 1280, reduce that to 1280 by 720, you would do it in here. And you can see what your video is going to look like by going to the preview window and doing a live preview. And so you can see the effect of your settings. Let's just turn the sound off. You can see the effect of changing the settings by looking at the, 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 the preview. So every time I tweak something, I wanted to know what effect it would have, you can go into preview window. And then we just start encoding and you can see the progress at the bottom there of how long it will take and I'll come back when that's done so there's the video I've uh, it renamed it and it's gone from 1.21 gigabytes to 427 megabytes so it's just about half the size let's look at the quality of it so if we open it this is the compressed version and I have got the sound off just so we can look at the picture quality so move up to about four minutes make it a bit smaller you know in the original so the one on the top is the resized one and the one on the bottom is the original rip and there's not really a, a great deal of difference I, I guess this one might look a little bit sharper but um, nothing that's really going to 
cause too much of a problem, and as they both play, there's no real difference to me. So that what I'd want to do now is go back into do, to all my videos that I've ripped. So, for example, the DVD of the goodies, straight off handbrake, and the uh, sizes are quite huge. So one episode of the goodies was 1.19 gigabyte. When I put that through again through handbrake using the settings we've just done, it's halved it. So these are all the original sizes just through using the universal preset for a half hour episode are quite big. So I'd be going back and, and uh, changing all of these and perhaps doing them as a batch. So to re-encode all of these episodes in one go as a batch, I can do that in the Mac version of Handbrake by using the Q. If I was using the Windows version of Handbrake, it has an open folder option where you can add all the files in a folder and then it will process them all using the same settings in one batch. Uh, but I'm using Mac so I have to do it a little differently and I want to change all of these original rips into and resize them without affecting the quality. So you can see the, the sizes are quite big. For a half hour episode that's a, a huge file so I wouldn't be able to get them at least half that size. So to do that in the Mac version of Handbrake, I'm going to Source and select each one. I've already done this one. So I'm going to select Bigfoot and make sure the destination is where I want those to be saved. So I've created another folder inside this folder. This is where the originals are. So I don't have to rename the files and call it Bigfoot resized or big foot one so then once I've done them all I can copy them straight back into the original location on my hard drive and delete the current ones saving some space so you're going to make sure when you've um, added the each one that your settings are still the same because the audio sends to go back to 160 each time and I'll make that 128 and ensure that it's h.264 frame rate same as source constant frame rate 21 for that one constant quality the advanced options panel selected and you have four reference frames and it's web optimized and they're the only settings you need to change now I can add that to a queue show the queue and now add the next one go back to source and add the next one Make sure the settings are the same and the only one you've got to check is the audio. It keeps going back to 128. Add that to the queue. Show the queue. I've got two there now. So it's just a matter of changing the audio because everything else is the same and add to queue. So they're all there. All been added to the queue, pending an encode. And then all you need to do is start and go away and have a cup of coffee depending on the, the, the speed of your system and how much RAM you've got will determine how long you've got to wait for this process to occur. But if you're doing a lot of rips and it took me a long time to do all my DVDs now it's going to take similar time to go back and resize them all um, and I just do that in the background while I'm doing something else but you need to have a system that's fast enough to do that. So you can see the progress down here. There's the progress of the first one, and the first one is going through the process. And once the first one's completed, it will go to the second one. So you can do this and set this to, to go overnight. Leave your computer on and let them resize. So let's come back when they're all finished. So the files are finished transcoding. And let's just have a look at the difference in sizes. So here's the resized files, and they're all about half the size of the originals and even though this one looks quite big 855 megabyte the original is 1.43 so that's just about half less than half so each one of these original files has been 
ripped at different uh, sizes and it can happen but they are much smaller now so to sum up if, if you start your ripping process select your presets so I've selected universal and then I'll go and tweak it a bit so I'll go back and put my web optimized change the frame rate to same source constant quality constant frame rate into advanced select reference frames for change the audio and then go through the the normal naming conventions and, and uh, output destination but I've sort of got some of the, the settings there so that's all for this video